the reason what Pete's describing is is the like like he said in either system settings or preferences uh, in keyboard shortcuts app shortcuts you can create your own keyboard shortcuts for any item that appears in any menu and so when you are in an app command p brings you to the print dialog as i think most of us probably know what pete is doing is adding a menu shortcut for this new menu that appears in the print dialog and assigning that also to command P so that he doesn't have to do anything different. He just says command P the first time he does command P it brings up the print dialog. The second time he does command P while the print dialog is up, it chooses save as PDF. And you could do this with anything. Like I have, I have that same shortcut set to our PDF, uh, we have a, a an Apple script that, that we wrote that puts uh, that PDF into Notes as a, a PDF, and then that's what we share here. And by the way, my other script is working now. I got it. I got it working, so oh. I can archive Notes. Yeah, it's great. There you go. Uh, yeah, so I you can get it to save as PostScript or anything correct. like that. You but choose whatever you want, whichever and, menu selection, correct? Yeah. And I added a second <clears throat> one there to to mail a PDF, so I can do Command P, Command M. And it now mails that PDF because whatever's in that menu, you can do. And again, this isn't limited to the PDF dialog or the print dialog, rather. Anything in any menu that you use a lot that doesn't have a menu shortcut, you can add one in system preferences or settings, keyboard shortcuts, app shortcuts. So that's the the the, the key um, there. 